Do you want to read something with me as uh, Zane and Jake? Yeah, I'd love this to. This is the first time I've ever done this. Let's do and some I wasn't sure awesome if I was gonna lines. Do it. These fan <clears throat> lines? Someone wrote this. Okay, great. And I put it, and I I haven't really. I look okay, at so who do you want me to be? No, <laughs> I'm yeah, just kidding. That's the okay, great. Okay, here we go. Greetings, Jay. Oh, hey, Zane. Uh, uh, Jay, may I? That's awkward. If you could go back and change anything in one of the scripts, what would it be? Oh. Pardon me. Mm, you know what? I think I would have given myself a better robot. There was a there was a, 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 ser a series. The mechs. Uh, the mechs. Yeah. I think I would have given myself a bigger, different, uh, larger, almost like dare cool. I say, cooler, cooler toy. Cooler it's really toy. About, it's about the toy. <laughs> it's about, about the, the toy. toy. All right. It's, about, I, the it's toy. about the toy, everybody. Have you got any good puns or cheesy pickup lines that you could pass on for them? Puns or cheesy pickup lines, like hey. What's up? Try that one, it works. Or, hi, I'm Michael, nice to meet you. That's always a good one, if your name is Michael. If not, maybe don't lead with that. No, I wouldn't go with that. You like Halo, the video game? I love Halo, Halo was a wonderful game and it was one of the first games I started playing. Yeah, yeah. for movies, TV, TV or voice? Uh, I gotta say, I love them all equally. Voice is really fun, movies can be dark and quite serious and television can be, man, it can be all over the place. I have to say, I just really love being an actor and I'm super blessed to do something I love for a living. Do you like Minecraft? I do like Minecraft. I think really? it's really fun, it's inventive, but careful, it can eat up too many hours of the day. Right. Don't create a world that you can never go to I when you can like, go outside. I gotta wear like glasses just to see the, the, I, the, I have, the blocks. I, They're so blurry, I, man. I had, I had a shirt on earlier that says, I'd rather be outside. Yeah, that's that's, that, that, that's, that's my feeling. Live. Everybody yeah. should take some time to get outside. Favorite part of voice acting? Favorite part of voice acting is being with my friends. Uh, what's your opinion on brew shipping? The truth is, man, I don't know what it means. Maybe, maybe pass on that one. You know what it means? I don't know what that is. Maybe, maybe pass on it. Oh, pass. Yeah, pass. It's probably inappropriate. Whoever wrote that. <laughs> yeah, uh, right. Uh, how, how, how about how about geo chipping? <laughs> <laughs> Did you say geo geo chipping? Geo chipping. No shipping. Oh, shipping. Yeah. It, 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 it's like a common theme. You've I don't know, man. It's a thing. In in like a few forms, shipping. Okay, uh, geo. No, ge geode. Geode like a, shipping. So like, like a rock, man. So like geode is like a rock with crystals yeah. inside, right? Yeah. Okay, so those are cool. I, I, yeah, those are fine. I yeah, thumbs yeah. up to geodes. So who in the cast do you know best? Um, personally. Yeah. Oh me. Oh, that's that's a half hug. Where the, hey, <laughs> is that buddy. a half villain or half? <laughs> Take what you can get. It's snowing on my patio. <laughs> All right. Would you ever play Lego Dimensions? I would play Lego Dimensions. I don't have a lot of time for games, but if someone actually was like, "Hey, Michael, I bought you a game for Christmas," I would, I would hope that they would but think. You do realize we're not a, they didn't, they didn't use our voices, right? I realize they Is didn't use our you? voices, and you know what? Occasionally, there's going to be some decisions made that don't include you and you know what i think the the best thing to do is just to take the higher road and say hey i get to do what i get to do and i love it for that so, so you're okay with that i'm okay with it man the game's great yeah why not love to the game it is a good game uh, which ninja do you think is jay's closest friend i think cole despite the amount that we battle he is my closest friend what's the best thing about working with brent best they thing about it. working with brent yeah, yeah is seeing how hard he works and how much he loves the show. Despite being an emotionless, cold, <laughs> flat top, wearing robot. Yeah, I am the ninja of ice, man. He, it kind is, of makes sense. he is very, very involved and he's got <clears throat> a lot of love for you guys and a lot of love for our community. So that's my favorite part about working with Brent is seeing how much he cares about all of us in Ninjago universe. So thank you for that. Thanks, dude. How'd you come up with the voice of Jay? You know what? I thought about a guy who was uh, trying to be a little schmoozy, a little fun, kind of charming, uh, a bit of a one of these guys. I don't know how to. A Western shooter. You know, just sort of like. Or a slick. Hey, sir. slick, like like hey, it just kind of came walk, walk. out. I was like, yeah. <laughs> and because of the age range, I thought, you know, well, I should probably pitch my voice a little bit, and that's that's the magic that we now call Jay. Greetings, Jay. Oh, hey, Zane. Uh, Jay, may I deeply ask you to answer this one question? Uh, sure. What's the question? Some people have told me about this ship. Uh, what ship? The one everybody seems to go tremendously crazy about. Oh, the bounty? 
No, 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 no. The ship they refer to as Jaya. You know, Zane, they don't mean it as in like a ship ship. Then what else would it be then? And and why do they call such a thing like a ship? Isn't it a mechanical floatable transportation vehicle? Hmm. Maybe someday you'll understand, Zane. Someday. Then why can't that someday be today? Because, Zane, it can't! I ad lib just that last he did. part. I'm he sorry. Did. Yeah, that he was, I took that one in. little he took to liberty. creative an, an initiative. Yeah, yeah. It was, you know, again, we're referencing to those sometimes magical moments yeah, that man, happen that when that you does. just create something. Wonderful. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. Yay! That. Do you know that Jay is in every single episode? Yes! Cat or dog? Dog! Marvel or DC? Mm, Marvel. Do you do vocal? Yeah, I know that's like dangerous questions. That's so dangerous. Do you do vocal warm ups? I do. My entire drive to session in my car. How did you get the part in BFG? Like, did you audition it or did you just get offered it? I auditioned, I worked very hard, I walked around and was, I gotta say, pretty gross at my audition. It worked out well for me though. It's still snowing! <laughs> Advice to people that want to get into the industry. I think it's amazing for anyone to follow such a weird and wacky industry like voiceover. I think it takes a lot of courage, I think it takes a lot of some of that wacky crazy energy uh, that I you know, uh, alluded to. I mean, we have a wonderful time in session, but it's no easy road to get there. Um, I've been lucky enough for many years to teach voiceover um, on the mic training.com. I would say go take some classes, go find your inner voice and um, make some cartoon dreams come true for somebody out there. Who did you think was gonna be the Green Ninja? At the time, I was really hoping for Jay, but I knew that the arc of the anti-hero was too strong, and the uh, the so-called fabled son of our enemy was destined to turn over a leaf and become someone. You actually thought it was gonna be like I I knew I no I had to say I had a really strong feeling. I'm Go. like another blitz lightning round. Okay, ready? Go. Um, Favorite scene to record to get to record together. <gasps> oh, can't remember that. Oh, Should have put that on a lightning round. Oh, you know what? I think there was a really emotional time when your Falcon broke, and that was a really that was a hard time for all of us to go through that. The death of Falcon. Uh, favorite season of Ninjago. Favorite season of Ninjago. Oh my God, Destiny's Bounty. I love pirates. I don't really get this one. What did you feel when you you opened his time capsule, the one from his 15 year old self? <gasps> Oh man, from? okay, from my Twitter feed, that's actually a really interesting question. I have no idea. From, from, from my Twitter feed, I mentioned back in uh, 2016, just last year, a couple months ago, um, I celebrated the 20 year anniversary of a time capsule I recorded on a tape when I was like 14 years old, and it said, do not open until October 22nd, 2016. And I was like, that's so far away, I'll never live to be that old. Oh my <laughs> God, it's like a million years. You know what's really ironic is that I haven't listened to it yet. What? I you, haven't! You opened it, but you didn't listen to it. I don't have a tape deck! <laughs> Foresight is very important. I'm gonna have to sit in like a car somewhere and like drink a coffee and listen oh to my, my old self. So that was a great question. Thank that you. Is I haven't done it yet. That's oh, the answer that for is you. Funny. On record. Have you ever ad libbed a joke that made it into the show? I. Ooh. Maybe I don't know. They keep so much of the gold. I I, I like to think, uh, but I, I can't confirm that based on any any kind of uh, one line in particular. Which ninja would you have guessed that you would get? Oh, if I could guess it, uh, yeah. I was guessing either Jay or Zane. I was guessing if I was gonna get a booking. Do, do you know? Do you remember what you did for Zane? I think I did something a little like this. It was very zen and almost like a monk, but maybe too high. I don't know. It's, Sorry. It's, it's, it's kind of similar. It's, it's similar, but they obviously liked your approach because here you are all these... Well, I didn't get Jay, did I? All these seasons later. No, so, right? Everything happens for a like reason. Your approach. <clears throat> right? Everything happens for a reason. What qualifications have helped you in getting into the acting business? I would say growing up in musical theater was a huge help. I was very comfortable on stage, very comfortable in front of people. I performed in musicals. I did comedy, I did slapstick, I did uh, a whole gamut of uh, work in, in the performance uh, you know, arts growing up. 
And then when I had enough money and I was old enough and it was my time to get out into the world and, you know, go to school, I spent all my money where I wanted to spend it. And that was on acting classes. Hard work. Everybody puts their time somewhere. I mean, martial artists eventually become ninjas. We are guys who do voices and we become ninjas. Yeah, I'm a ninja. Like, I'm a, like a ninja. No, I'm, I'm a ninja. I could choke people out. I could be like... It's still snowing! After a recording session, do you have to take anything for your voice with Jay? No. What would you say your primary motivations are for the mailman? Um, I would say do the job. Do you play a part on Nexo Nights? Yes, I do. Who do you play? I play, um, Principal Bricklin. Quit slacking, you've been around, sort of like, blah, 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 blah. I can't, I'm not a writer. I can't just sort of like... That's can't, pretty can't good, do. though. But it was, yeah, he's, hey, what are you doing? It's just very hard. One of those guys. Sort of, uh, yeah. Waffles or pancakes? Waffles. Really? You made well, so and pancakes. <laughs> waffles Waffles with pancakes. Do your kids watch Ninjago? Yes. They absolutely love Ninjago. Uh, I have to say they are a little bit proud of their dad. So, um, yeah, it's always fun to... You know, come home from work and the TV's on in the background and I hear Brent's voice and I hear my voice and I know that my kids are Let me ask you jungle. something about that. Okay. Okay. Do any of your kids not like you as the favorite ninja? Or all of them um, I, on lightning? I think that they've had a pretty um, interesting fluctuation of favorites. Right. I think depending on the mood of the show... Uh, they pretend to be different characters and they say, oh, well, I'm, I'm Zane, or I'm Nia, and you know, and they right. very much get it on the show. Um, I don't think it's ever come up as, as to why a favorite is good or bad. I think people just enjoy watching it. They get yeah. to enjoy pretending well, to be the characters. Th that may be so for your, your kids, but um, they all have favorites. So well, them, if you like, guys have a favorite a and it's like not you. Jay... That's okay too because we all have great qualities as characters. Well, that's what, in the show. that's what I like about the show is that every everybody's got great qualities. Awesome, and every character I don't care is admirable. Doesn't like like I, I opened a fan letter from a girl. Yeah, oh, Katie, you're so sweet. <laughs> and I'm, reading it Hi, out, I'm reading it out loud, and it was like, oh, she's just like, oh, these great things, and then it comes to you're my third favorite. Ninja. Oh, <laughs> it's good like, to have lots oh, of favorites though. Oh, that, kill, that killed me. Just but, just because you're third. It didn't bug me. It, just, it was just funny, right? I'm like, well. <laughs> Obviously, I'm her favorite, but then I get to the. Uh, I, I hear a little wah wah in the background. <laughs> Do you like cookies? I love cookies. Favorite band? My favorite band? Ooh, that's really hard. I I love a, a wide selection favorite of music. Favorite type of music then? But see, you know what? Again, I like a wide selection of music. I like music if, if it makes me feel good. If it makes me, you know, if it makes me get up and dance. And All right, Raffi, it is. Yeah, Raffi. Thumbs up to Raffi. Or, or, or Yanni. Yeah. You, Sure. <laughs> we might know know. Look up who Yanni is. Man. You might you might have to do some research to find that old gem. <laughs> Careful with that joke, it's an antique. Uh, any characters on Ninjago that you secretly don't like? Oh, I secretly did not well, you like it, unless you're gonna say I did not like Master Chen. Oh really? Anyone who sells food and then conducts crime. It's not on, man. No, that's, that's the food it. is like his food is sacred. Yeah, you can't be someone who like here's good noodles. Oh, crime! Right. No. You enjoy your time on Stargate. I really love my time on Stargate. I had such a wonderful arc as a character, uh, as an actor. I got to learn a lot. Some of my very first scenes on the show were with. Richard Dean Anderson, who's a tremendous, a, a tremendous talent. MacGyver. Uh, yes, MacGyver. He's like, he's a legend. The guy is like, he's royalty. And um, to be opposite him in scenes and talking about comedy and you're like, you know, what? I think it's really funny that this, this, you know, like this, this, the straighter he is, the more it antagonizes you. I think that's really great. And I'm like, I'm having a conversation with MacGyver. What pets do you have? I have two Borble Mastiffs. They're from South Africa and they're pretty big. They're like the size of a couch. You have two couch dogs? Two giant couch dogs. How come we don't see them? Because it's snowing and they sleep. That would make sense. You like roller coasters? I love roller coasters. The Hulk is the best. Oh, it's closed when I went. What? Yeah. Oh, hashtag missed opportunity. Hashtag lose my. <laughs> <laughs> How did Jay get his powers if he was adopted? Please ask him this. And the only reason why I'm asking this is because they actually wrote please. 
please I is always a great way to start any sort of exchange. Uh, how did you get your powers? You know, you were adopted. It's a little weird. You got lightning powers from. Well, you know, I have to say that there is something in the world, and this is for many worlds across the spectrum of worlds, where there is something just. It, it, it's a child of prophecy story, if you is. will, yes. where people from distant far off planes of existence right touch down on mortal soil aliens and is that where we're going i think he's yeah. an alien yeah okay oh jay's an alien well obviously actually. Ob I mean, you're shooting a lightning obvi it's not, it's not possible <laughs> no one can shoot lightning. i think it's just his electric personality oh waka 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 <laughs> Hey, Michael and Brent. Oh, I'm in this one. Hi. Do you ever have problems voicing scenes where the ninja are doing something really stupid and annoying? For example, when the ninja were shooting coconuts with their elemental blades on the dark island. You go first. Um, if you're on a dark island and you're secluded and there's coconuts, what else are you going to do? Yeah, what he said. Do, do you like Jay's elemental power? Yes, of course. Lightning is the best. Well, I... You could cook grilled cheese. Well, like, uh, Ice might be cool too. I just got it on my crotch. Can you cook food with ice? Cold crotch. Hold on. See? <laughs> he doesn't like his <laughs> elemental power. Because it's making him cold. Uh, well, if you put ice on your crotch, you'll be a little bit cold too. You want to try it? <laughs> I also probably wouldn't like to put lightning anywhere on me. So <laughs> That's I'm right. I'm probably okay there. I'll tell you what. I'll put ice on my crotch. You put lightning on yours and we'll see who comes out easier. Oh. <laughs> My channel's PG. Yeah. That's borderline PG. -13. Borderline. And Come it's on. all on this side of the line. <laughs>